everyone, the question for today is what is a merge join in SQL Server? It is a physical join, which means we do not use that uh, uh, use these joins in our uh, SQL queries or write in our SQL queries. So these are the algorithms or the operators that we use that are used by the SQL optimizer to implement the logical joins. So let's, uh, if you uh, looked at my other videos on physical joins, you might be familiar with this diagram, which shows us that the SQL Server engine uses any of these physical joins to implement our logical joins which we usually write in our SQL queries. So today we're going to focus on what is a merge join and uh, the specialty of the merge join is that it does not need an equi join condition whereas you can use a, a, a less than or less than equal to or the greater than or greater than equal to operators to implement our logical joins or whenever the non-equi uh, condition are used the sql server plans on using the merge join so let's take a look at how merge join works so firstly it sorts the data and then it will merge the data and then give us an output so here is an execution plan which shows us that it's sorting the data and then it's giving us a and then using the merge so we'll take a look at it in a bit with the same example here that's mentioned in this particular query so let's take a look at how it actually works so we're going to have two tables which is the department table and the employee table here uh, the first step is to sort the data right so here we this data this table is already sorted with the department number and here we have to sort the sort the data set based on the join key. So here our join key is the department number. So here the department number is sorted but not sorted in this particular table in the employee table. So the first step uh, the SQL server does is it's going to sort this particular column. So this so this is the query that we are going to use. Uh, for uh, our example and we're going to force it to use the merge join it is not a recommended practice to force the sql server to you to use a particular join a particular physical join but we're going to take a look at it just for our understanding and to see our execution plan for the merge join uh, so let's get back to this so we have our sorted um, table with uh, where we have all the department ids in order sorry the department numbers in order so once it's sorted we have to merge the data let's see how that's happening so this is a, a sorted employee table and uh, first while merging the data it takes a row from the smaller table and then tries to match with the first row of the other table here does it match with the department id yes it does so it's going to add that particular row in our output table then it switches to the next row in the table in, in the employee table and it matches so it adds that particular row then it goes to the third row it matches and it's going to add now it's going to the fourth row it does not match so what it's going to do is it's going to increment it on this department table so it's going to the second row in the department table and now if you see carefully it's going to check if it's going to match this particular it's not going again to the first row and checking if 222 is equal to 111 it's going back only to where it was last uh, where it last failed so 222 matches 222 and it go says okay add john smith now it goes to the other next row and Mike Smith department ID matches and that data is added to our output table. So this is how the merge join works. Uh, so let's see the merge join in action here. And here is what we are going to look at uh, the query that we're going to use here. So uh, I have my um, uh, uh, query here, which I'm going to select and execute and uh, check the execution plan so if you see it we have the sorting that's happening and then the merge join why is the sorting happening you know if you see our employee table here uh, the department number is not sorted in order so that is why it is doing a sort and then merging and also you can you can uh, use this syntax too whereas you know here you see inner merge join uh, uh, and 
uh, on the on the employee table so you get the same execution plan the sort and the merge so there are different two syntaxes that you can do but again uh, always it's not a good idea to force the sql optimizer to uh, to uh, to force uh, to force to to force the sql server to use a particular physical join so let's ba get back to our presentation here and uh, uh, look at uh, the highlights so if the two data sets are not already sorted the database sorts them using the sort join operator and then for each row in the first data set the database probes the second data set for matching rows and joins them basing its first position on the match made in the previous iteration so here we go uh, so the uh, so when is the merge join used it is used when there is large amount of data and your join condition is not an ep join like i mentioned in the first slide and then the, most of the time the data is already sorted so the optimizer uh, feels that it's cheaper to use a sort, a sort merge join and uh, uh, uses that physical join to implement your logical join so this is about uh, uh, SQL Server and uh, uh, this is about what is a merge join in SQL Server. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you and have a great day.